Taurus, I could not wait to dig into your reading because the astrology is really extraordinary. And, and you know, because we've been, we've been journeying together for a while now, it's been extraordinary, uh, really game-changing ever since that south node, and I'm sorry, the north node went into Taurus about a year, almost, almost a year and a half ago. So I got to tell you, this week, everything finally feels worth it. Uh, maybe it, it just hadn't struck home yet, or, I mean, you could definitely notice and recognize the changes. But in some ways, it's, it's been confusing, it's been painful, it's been scary, sometimes it's been exciting, but this makes it suddenly feel worth it. And if I could paint a picture of astrology to, dis dis to describe a new moon eclipse, I would paint this astrology because it's um, it is a complete restart. It's a refresh. It's like the past never happened except for the lessons that it taught you, and really what you've become now and how you see things in a completely different way and being willing to embrace and emerge from any kind of dark place, especially of guilt or shame or forgiveness that you needed to that you needed to give um, and really realizing why it was all worth it and, and where the bits and pieces of the journey fit in. So let's dig into the cards. Taurus, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries to Row. It is for Sun, Moon, and Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm going to start with what's going on currently but the cards will always speak to me. They'll tell me what set this up in the past and and why it, and how it's impacting or why the current situation is happening. And then we're gonna go into the future in terms of predicting the outcome. Um, and I will throw in astrology along the way. You guys know me. Remember, there's always an extended reading and I hope that you will join me for that. I will attach the extended link below to the top of the uh, description box. You'll always find it. And then when I finally get around to it, I will pin it to the top of the comment section as well. So the first thing that comes out with the cards is that you're finally liberated and free, especially your voice. You have Aquarius energy and then you have Gemini energy. So there's a lot of communicating. There's also sharing something public with your community, whatever your community is, maybe with the public, going public with a statement, with something that you wrote, with something that you uh, wanted to say, um, speaking out loud, but also just a sense of freedom, a freedom to actually be who you are out loud because in some ways you finally know who you are. Um, this, this, there's just a feeling of, of rush, uh, fast, quick, um, but freedom. It's like you don't even have to watch where you're going because you're certain of where you're headed. And oh, Ali Ali Oxen Free. Do you remember that expression from when you were a kid? That's what I just channeled. I am moving at the speed of light after the race is over. And it's because I finished the race that I don't feel any more ties or any more burdens. And I'm so lightweight and I'm so free. And I'm just so excited to get to the future. Um, I'm rushing toward it. I'm not, I'm not afraid anymore. Um, there's a lot of facing fear here. Um, this is also making new friends. As corny as this sounds, you will be very social this week. Now, that has a lot to do with Venus conjunct the sun and your confidence level, especially your attractiveness, because Venus conjunct the sun within one degree of each other, they are moving into Scorpio together, which means that Uranus and the North Node, which is in Taurus, your home state, so all the changes and 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 divergences and 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 just the just the changes and the renovations we should say about what was your con constitution is in direct opposition to 
um, which means this is a balancing act. There's no way that you can deal with an opposition except to accept the duality of what's happening and figure out a balance in between. And I feel like this is when you're ready for that fine-tuned balance in between with Scorpio, which is what has been hidden or what you want to keep secret and allowing your life to change and allowing your secrets out. You're allowing your secrets to not hold you back. This is really about feeling forgiveness for the first time for everything that has happened in the past so that you can really set yourself up for uh, where you're going in the future like you don't you don't owe anybody anything anymore and of course not to say that you ever did owe anybody anything but the feeling of the obligation is gone and there's really a, a beautiful opportunity here to make new friends and make new connections i don't know if you are actually traveling somewhere um, but I think there's a natural curiosity about you with regards to somebody, to people, to people in general. So you have a real free-spirited, free, -spirited, free um, way of expressing yourself right now. Um, let's get deeper in. Let's go. Another card that's staring me in the face, let's discuss it, is transformation is beautiful. This is scorpionic energy in the past. So this, we're talking about a change that happened not too long ago. It's a permanent change. So you spread your wings not too long ago. You started to fly or there was a loss, some sort of a, a loss of a loved one where you, you train, you, they transferred over that, that bridge. There was basically a permanent change in your life, to your life and to your soul that pushed you to a different level. And I, I am so certain at this point that you are ready for this freedom because you are the person that you have grown to be and the person that you've earned. And so you are definitely ready for this level of freedom. Happy birthday, Michelle Stanley Gay. You're definitely ready for this freedom because honestly, Taurus, you've earned it. You've, ear you've earned it. There, there's not going to be any danger that comes to you because you know exactly how to handle yourself. There's a lot of communication that's coming in. Um, being that this is, is, an, is it in Scorpio, it could be communication, feeling like you can actually feel the spirit of somebody and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a loved one that has passed away, but they won't feel passed away. They'll feel very, very much alive. And in some ways, you'll know exactly where to place them moving into the future. Um, there's so much more to the story. Hold on. Uh, we have the miracles are endless, but it's in reverse. In reverse, what this means is you have everything you need. Like your cup is full. You know? Um, and this is your energy. So you're not acting like yourself. It's almost like you're acting completely opposite from yourself. But it's exactly what you need to do to balance yourself out. So I'm asking you to take a second and think, if you're having difficulty with a situation, what is the opposite thing that you would do? What is the thing that is completely different from what you would have naturally done? You can leave the comments below. I would love to have you leave the comments below. And while you're there, remember to like this video because it really helps the video. And thank you so much for supporting the channel that way. Um, but it's almost like acting completely different than yourself. <laughs> um, yeah, acting completely different for, with yourself. There are some contracts that have been signed. There have been some agreements, agreements that are made and your cup is able to fill up and you have everything you need. Do you hear this? They're just this, this, reading is coming together in bits and pieces but it's telling me something it's like your life is coming together in bits and pieces it's like the last part of a puzzle where everything finally starts to make sense and you remember where all the pieces were that you pushed to the side before because you couldn't find a place for them oh now i found the place oh yeah and it all starts to come together that's the exciting process that's happening for you this week What's, what's what's happening in the future but I kind of want to know the players I'm sure you do too um, time for a deep dive there is a lot of romance and sexuality and sensuality here 
and maybe you're finally liberated and able to, you're free to talk to somebody. You're free to be around each other. Maybe you're free to actually travel with each other or you're letting somebody know how you really feel. Remember that Venus is now in Scorpio, so your attracted, attractiveness, people that are different from you may be more attractive than they used to be. Um, you're definitely gonna have, it's, it's like you're gonna shine. Your sensuality is through the roof. Your sensuality and your sex drive. Because Mars is trying to this conjunction as it goes into Scorpio. And that sex drive is just through the roof. So there is a sense of, but it's almost like uh, there's a sense of Woodstock, which is definitely not what you would normally be associated with. But there is this sense of Woodstock. I feel like you're doing something extremely social where you will be very friendly, gathering around friends, talking and communicating to a lot of people, and definitely allowing your your sensuality and sensual side to be unleashed. You're going to be extremely attractive to people this week. And so your cup runneth over with opportunities, with compliments, and just the ability to really revel in this feeling of being appreciated and being valued. This is this is the swan. This is the ugly ugly duckling that's become the swan. Right? This is Libra energy. It's all about it's all about beauty. It's all about finding it's all about beauty. It's all about aesthetics. And um, it's almost like with this card here, awakening to the beauty in somebody, awakening to your own beauty. Um, becoming more beautiful if you went through a transformation recently especially with anything visual about yourself this is a good time to debut it you're going to get a lot of compliments on it and you're going to get a lot of attention i don't know why i'm drawn to this card i think it has to do with yeah oh and look what oh shit look what's on the bottom and this is the new moon behind them a new romantic cycle is beginning in your life. Connection for those of you who, maybe even those of you who aren't seeking it, for those of you who are available for it, time for you, and definitely a, a change, a, some sort of change, a reset somehow. Can you please tell me, God, what is that for Taurus? How does this look? We've covered the generals. Who are the players? I just didn't want to come out. Ah, my golden girl said. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. I've been using this deck, but first I want to get the moon card. Because we are having a new moon. What is coming up on the new moon for Taurus? Believe in the impossible. <laughs> oh my god! Can I, this is going to be better than you ever expected. Yeah. Yeah, and all that tension is about to pop. And I think that at this point, oh, I just heard it. Nobody is ever going to see you the same way again. Like all signs of ugly duckling are over with. You've transcended the old expectations of your image. And you've completely transformed that image to something that actually has potential for the future. And something that is actually different. Um, this could, for many of you, really have to do with physicality, but I also just think that like your public image, how people see you, is changing because of this impossible thing that happens. So what is this impossible thing that happens? Uh, it's a huge, oh Jesus, you got turned down for something on the coattails of disappointment is coming a huge financial career value opportunity this is something that was disappointed in before there was a lot of disappointments maybe a lot of setbacks um it, it's it's finally like it's worth the investment and look at this because as impossible as this may have been, and as much as you may have had to wait for it, 
it has transformed to be something better and bigger than you could have imagined. Who are the players here? We have the Fool card. This is an ingenue. You're taking steps, or this is somebody who is taking steps into a complete new direction. Eyes wide open, confidence, pure heart. But it's like the past never happened. This is your fresh start. And I gotta tell you what a beautiful, beautiful life you're stepping into. Because it's like no harm done. No harm done. The scars have disappeared into who you have become. It's not like they're gone, but it's like they're the fabric of what you are, so they don't even appear like scars anymore. This could be somebody who is an ingenue, very glamorous, a starlet of some sort, a socialite. This is a debut time for you, so you're stepping out, being seen, being noticed. that you were disappointed in in the past you finally maybe you have finally have the money to be able to transform yourself um how king of swords king of swords is about making very smart decisions so that's a series of very star smart and strategic decisions that you or somebody who is counseling you made and you trusted the right people and you took the right advice so that's how this new start and this really beautiful moment that's going to be better than you could have imagined is going to happen. King of Swords could be a lawyer. If so, he's a very clever one because he just cut all ties to any obligations that you had had in the past. And he made it so you were able to be free and not have any obligation. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, not have any, my, my neck pops sometimes, I apologize. Um, not have any obligations. It looks like an older, once again, King of Swords, and you have Aquarius energy and Gemini energy. This is somebody who's really good at talking and really good at public image and the way that you speak and the way that or the way that you are talked about i gotta tell you this is like a whole takeover and as strange as it sounds this feels like starting a new life or a soul that's starting a new life after passing away, this sound feels like reincarnation. So, what does that mean for you? Well, freedom. Realizing that somebody's stress has is over, it's past, they've begun something completely new, but it's also saying, and I knew this as soon as I looked at the astrology, whatever debt you had owed from your past life this is them coming full circle and being completely paid and so the changes that start to happen to your life the changes that happen because you have been liberated from the burden of those old debts you don't feel obligated anymore that's who you used to be. But I need to know. Let me know in the comments. For Taurus. And when is this all happening? Things keep coming back out in the past. This is interesting. We have Judgment and Queen of Pentacles. There's some sort of judgment that was made in your favor. You've been given almost a lucky chance to start completely new. 
to be, you, so it either is exoneration from debts or just whatever it is, it, it's, it's a complete and total reincarnation of the self. You've been judged as worthy and valuable of being given a second chance. based on how you've transformed. Yeah, guys, this is, I just keep thinking about it as like reincarnation. Why do I keep saying that? I'm talking to people who are alive. There's some sort of reincarnation here. This is happening from the past. So it's almost like a sense of, What is this? Give me words for it, God. I was going to say, coming together again with somebody you were destined to be with. Me. What is this, God? Please be specific. There you go. Asking you shall receive, Taurus. You see that? I want to get them into view for you. Let's go over this. We had the King of Pentacles. We had the Four of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. And then we have the Three of Wands. What is this in your future? a risk that you took that you weren't completely sure of and you put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into and I think in a way it really put you out but there is this is all coming back around to a huge if not triple payout let's see how that impacts your career your love and relationships your money specifically and I promise you there are going to be dates coming up for you so we'll know exactly what time this is coming um, I'll see you guys in the extended the links are below